Hey guys, how's it going? So what I'm going to do today is show you how to create a reset password system using PHP. So it's going to work like this. You're going to have a link and this link would appear in your uh, login form. Of course, I don't have a login form because this is just a demo, but you would take this link, put it on your login form so that when the user forgets their password, they can click on this link and then be taken to a page like this where they would enter their email address. And then they'll click reset email. It should send them the email, so when they go and check their inbox, they should see this email from our site. Click on that, and you'll see we have this link inside the email. When the user clicks on that link, it will take them to the page where they can update their email. Click update, and then the password has been updated. So real simple, but a real powerful tool, which allows your users to uh, you know, not get locked out of their account if they can't remember their password. So anyway, that's a real simple demo of how it's going to work, so let's get started with it. Now I'm going to assume you already have a local server installed, I'm using XAMPP, but if you don't have a local server installed, just go ahead and type in XAMPP into Google, and then you'll find the link to download it. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the site that we're going to use in this tutorial. Now some of you may have taken my Udemy courses and maybe you want to use the sites that we create in that. I teach on Udemy and I have courses that show you how to create social media websites, uh, Spotify websites, uh, YouTube clones. So if you already have those websites and you want to use one of those projects, you can do that. This will work with it. But I'm not going to use those sites for these videos. So what I'm going to do is just create a new site. So I'm going to go to my uh, htdocs folder in my XAMPP okay, and just create a new uh, folder and I'll just call this reset password demo all right reset password demo and then i'm going to open this folder in my text editor so that we can start creating pages so use whatever text editor you want but i'm going to use sublime text for this uh, for these videos so i'm going to open my sublime text and go file open and then i'm going to go to my hdocs folder and choose this reset password demo folder that i just created Okay, so here we are. Here's my text editor with the reset passwords demo folder. What I'm going to do is start by creating an index page. So I create a new file. And I'm just going to save this uh, in the uh, reset password demo folder and just save it as index.php. Okay, I'll type HTML, press tab, and I should get the HTML document structure in there. And what I'm going to do is just uh, to make sure it works, I'm just going to say sandwiches like that. So hopefully, when I go to uh, this, I'm going to see sandwiches. So in my browser, I'm going to go to uh, localhost slash, and my folder was called reset password demo. I wish I didn't use such a long name now, and I've spelled it wrong as well. So reset password demo, and you can see sandwiches. Great. So we know it works. So we have our index page, now we can start adding some real code to this. So what we'll do first is get the tool that which we're going to use to uh, actually send the emails. And that's going to be something called PHP Mailer. So go to Google and type in PHP Mailer and press enter and you should get this uh, top link from GitHub. So PHP Mailer is a very common tool, very popular tool that is used to send emails using SMTP. Now if you use SMTP to send the emails, it's a way of using existing email systems like Gmail to send your emails for you. If you don't use SMTP, you have to use the built-in PHP mail functions, which take a bit more work. So what we're going to do is just use this tool here. And it's, like I said, really popular and it's real simple to use as well. You can install it using uh, Composer. And in fact, they even recommend this. But to keep it simple, I'm not going to use Composer. I'm just going to download the zip file. So right at the top, I'm going to click on this and then click download. And it should uh, give me the option to save it. So I save it. And then when it's done, I'll click on this to open it up. And then here we go. We have PHP Mailer. So what we're going to do is uh, copy this uh, folder that we just uh, downloaded. So I'm copying that. I'm going to go to my reset password demo folder right here. There's the index page. So I'm inside this, uh, this folder. And I'm just going to paste it in there. So now I've pasted that. I'm actually going to rename this just to PHP Mailer. I don't want to use PHP Mailer Master. So I'm just going to rename it to PHP Mailer. Okay, and I'll close down this downloads folder. And inside there, it's got a bunch of stuff, but we don't actually need to be concerned with any of these, um, any of these files. We don't have to change anything in here. We're just going to use these. So these are the main files which handle the sending of the emails. Uh, but like I said, you don't have to do anything with them. So in fact, you don't even have to care that they're there. So anyway, we have PHP Mailer now. So that means we're ready to start sending emails. Great. So what I'll do is I'll scroll down and there's a simple example code on the uh, home page right here of this GitHub page. So right here, a simple example. I'm just going to take this PHP code, all of it. I'm copying it. And I'm going to go back to my text editor. And what I'll do is uh, stick this at the top there. So at the top, I'm just going to open this up. PHP. Okay, and close my PHP block off as well. Inside there, I'm just going to paste all that code that we just copied. And this actually had an opening uh, PHP block, so I'll get rid of that, so that we only have the opening and closing PHP tags right there. So I've just took all the code that we just copied and pasted it inside these uh, PHP tags right here. Now I'll just make this a little bit larger for you. Great. So 
There's a couple of things you need to change. This part here um, is used if you use Composer to install. Like I said, we didn't use Composer, we kept it simple and we just downloaded the zip file. So we can't use this. So it's not a problem though. We can get rid of that. So delete that part. We do want to keep these though. Okay, so don't delete those things. And if you go back to the GitHub page, if you scroll up to uh, here, you'll see it tells you if you're not using Composer, um, you have to do this. So keep those two, but then you have to just add these files manually, all right? So that's the only thing we need to do differently because we didn't use Composer. So I'm gonna copy those three lines, all right? Copying those, so I'm gonna go back to here and just paste it underneath. You could manually write these out if you didn't wanna copy and paste it, but that doesn't matter. Then all we need to do is change uh, this path right here to uh, wherever the path to our PHP mailer is. Now, of course, I renamed the file to PHP Mailer, so the package is PHP Mailer, and the source, uh, the SRC folder is right in there. So all I need to do is just get rid of these two. So keep that exactly the same. So get rid of the, the path and then the two, and then the same for this one, and we should be good now. Okay, great. We've included all the files we need. We can go ahead and change some of these. Now, it looks real uh, daunting, but uh, most of this we don't need to care about, all right? So don't worry about it. So this part here just means it's gonna log the uh, output to you, but we don't wanna do that, so I'm gonna delete that whole line. We're gonna keep this line. This just tells it to use SMTP. Now the host is gonna be your SMTP host. So this depends on what kind of email service you're using. If you're using a Gmail email address, you can just go to Google and type in Gmail SMTP server, like that. So if you're using Gmail, go and type in Gmail SMTP server, click on this first link right here, and then scroll down, and you should see that the uh, SMTP server is just smtp.gmail.com. So you would take this, again, this is if you're using Gmail, and you would put this in there. I'd replace both of those and just stick that in there like that, okay? But I'm not using Gmail. I want to use my own SMTP server. So what I'm going to do is uh, use mail.com. ReeseKenny.com. Again, if you're using Gmail, you just use uh, smtp.gmail.com. Okay. Now the username is going to be whatever your uh, your username for your email account is. Okay. So this would be your Gmail email address. So your name at gmail.com or whatever it is. Okay. So I'm going to put my own email address in here, which is just courses at ReeseKenny.com. Okay. But like I said, this is where your email goes. Okay, and this would just be the password to your email account. All right, so I've just set a test password for, just for the purpose of this video, password. But I will be changing this afterwards, so this is just for the purpose of the video. So as soon as this video has ended, I'll go and switch this back to uh, whatever my previous password was. But for the purpose of the video, I'll just make sure it's password. But this, again, would be where your password goes. So your email and the password, you know, this is how you log into your uh, Gmail account or whatever email service you're using. So SMTP is just the encryption method. So you can use TLS or SSL. If you're using TLS, you wanna specify a port number here. Now Google, if you're using TLS, uses port 587. You can see right there. Okay, so you make sure 587's in there. If you wanna use SSL, maybe you're using a different uh, email server, not Gmail, maybe you have to use SSL, in which case you would switch uh, the port to this one here, 465. All right, so it doesn't matter. Use whatever one you want, okay? I'll just leave it as SSL or and leave 465 in there. But like I said, it doesn't really matter. Use whichever ones you want. Okay, so that's the worst part done. You're doing great, keep it up. What we're gonna do is uh, continue with this now. Just set some values here. And we don't need all of these. We'll be getting rid of some of them. But we'll set the from email address. And this can be whatever you want to appear in the uh, from email. So what I'll do is just uh, use my own email address again. So I'm gonna take that, okay? paste it in there and I can just put something in there. Maybe you want to put your name, maybe you want to put the name of your website. For example, Facebook might just put Facebook in there. You can use your company name or something, but I'll just put courses like that. Okay, just because the first part of my email is courses. All right, so the next thing you need to do is add an email address that we're sending this to. Now, of course, we are eventually going to be sending it to the email address that they enter, but just to check it works, we're going to enter your email address. You can put this one in here. It can be the same one, or you can use a different email address. Maybe you have two email accounts and you want to use that one. It doesn't really matter. And then this is just to add a second uh, email address, and we don't want to add two. We only want to send it to one email address, so I'll get rid of this line, okay? So we just have one add address right here, okay? And I've also deleted the name, so I can get rid of that comma as well. So our test email will be sent to this email address, then we can add a reply to, which is just the uh, email address it's going to go to when they click the reply button. Now you might just want to do uh, no reply at uh, wherever your email is. So I'll just say reesekenny.com. So that when they click reply, they'll be sending it to no reply at reesekenny.com. Okay. And they can even change their name to no reply like that. All right. We don't need any CC and we don't want any BCCs either. So I'll get rid of those two. Now you can add an attachment. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to get rid of both of those lines. 
And then this is just content of the email. So is HTML true, meaning we're going to be able to send HTML? And I'll keep subject like that, I'll keep body like that, and then I'll do alt body as well. This is just in case that user can't load HTML in their emails. Okay, and that should be it. So what I'm going to do is give that a save. All right, uh, and let's go test it out now. So I'll go back to here, I'll close that down, we don't need that. And let's just uh, refresh this page and hopefully we'll see an email. So refresh this and let's see what we get. So message has been sent. You can still see my sandwiches on there from before, but just ignore that. And let's go and uh, check my inbox and hopefully we see an email now. And we do. Here is a subject like this. You can see our email address there. And you can also see the no reply. So if I click reply right here, it will prepare an email with this as the uh, to address. So that's it. A real simple way we can send emails in PHP. Obviously, the next steps are to make it so they can enter the email address and so on. But we'll get to that in the next videos.